And I'd like to end by uh, introducing a guest of mine. Uh, this is Erica Cutter, who lives in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. Uh, last October 1st, uh, Erica was in Las Vegas at a music festival uh, where a gunman opened fire. And if you'll indulge me, uh, I'd like to ask Erica to tell her story. Thank you. Thank you for your time today, committee. My name is Erica Cuter. I am a member of Every Town Survivor Network and a volunteer with Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. I am here to support H5741, H5739, and H5762. I live in East Greenwich, and I am a survivor of the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. On October 1st, 2017, I was having a wonderful time listening to country music with friends at Route 91 Music Festival in Las Vegas when a lone gunman fired more than 1,100 rounds from his hotel room on the 32nd floor. He killed 58 people and 851 people were physically injured all within 11 minutes. He had numerous high capacity magazines capable of holding 100 rounds apiece all these weapons were legally purchased. We were sitting ducks, and he just took aim. When we first heard the gunfire, we were not sure what it was until people were hit with bullets, and the yelling and the screaming began. I dove, I dove for the ground, and my husband dove on top of me to shield me from bullets in hopes that one of us would make it home to our girls. We felt the blast of the bullets as they whizzed by us. When I looked up, I saw people who were shot lying all around me, including our dear friend. I watched as he gasped for air and his wife frantically searching for his inhaler and him telling her to run. She needed to get to her daughter. I saw people trying to be re revived as they laid motionless and I saw so much blood. I heard screaming and crying and smelled gunpowder and saw the carnage that one person can do with these firearms, all of which were legally owned. One minute we were singing and dancing, and the next we were just trying to survive. My friend who was shot spent 17 days in the hospital. The bullet shattered his rib cage, and that is what saved his life, because the bullet came so close to vital organs. He is fortunate to be alive, but will live the rest of his life with bullet fragments in his body as a constant reminder of that night. My husband and I have two beautiful young children that we need to be present for. We have been in therapy since we have returned home. I still fear large crowds. Enjoying Fourth of July fireworks is a thing of the past. And there are days that these visions come back where I just sit down and cry. Every time there is a mass shooting, it is a setback in my healing. Unfortunately, mass shootings are becoming more widespread and, occur and occurring with greater frequency, leaving their wake of thousands of lives that are forever changed. The fear of bearing, being in a public place with the potential for someone to start shooting is our reality now in this country. Nowhere, not movies, not theaters, not churches, not schools, nowhere is safe. Weapons such as military-style assault weapons and high-capacity magazines are designed to kill as many people as quickly as possible. Mass shootings that involve the use of high capacity magazines re resulted in more than twice as many fatalities and 14 times as many injuries on average compared to those who did not. And these weapons and dangerous accessories, they do not belong here in our civilized society. As I continue to struggle with the horror of that night, I know that someone else will be a victim of a mass shooting, just like me, probably this week. No one among us should be so naive to think we are exempt from gun violence. If you can take one thing away from my experience is that gun violence can happen anywhere, anytime, to anyone. Please help me fight this senseless violence by passing these three bills, H5741, H5739, and H5762, out of the committee. Please trust me when I say that you do not want the next mass shooting to take place here in Rhode Island with a legally purchased military-style assault weapon and a large capacity magazines. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Evan.